For many years, there's been conflict whether the government should fund stem cell research. Most of the reason behind the conflict deals with the ethics behind the whole situation. Equation. <clears throat> Christopher Reeve, also known as Superman, was paralyzed from the shoulders down due to a tragic horse riding accident in Culpeper. Afterwards, he became the face for stem cell research. He believed that there was a lot of potential in the research, so he urged the government to fund it. I also believe that the U.S. government should fund stem cell research because it could potentially improve human life. A stem cell is a blank cell which has the ability to generate a lot of other cells. And with the right push, it can be turned into any cell in the human body. And they have the ability to change it into a liver cell for somebody who has suffered liver damage or into a heart cell for those who have suffered from heart disease. There are two kinds of stem cells embryonic stem cell and adult stem cell. Embryonic stem cells are derived from human embryos and are still controversial. In the process of in vitro fertilization, scientists replicate the natural process of conception. By creating embryos in the hope that at least few will prove suitable for implantation. Adult stem cells can be taken from adults or even children without any harm done. These cells can be taken then given back to the same person without fear of immune rejection or tumor formation, which sometimes has been observed with their type with other types of stem cells in the past. Jean Peduzzi Nelson, a stem cell researcher, testifies that today adult stem cells are treating people over even though they have received little funding. Adult stem cells are showing a lot of promise and are the easiest to obtain and safest. Nelson has a couple of patients she keeps up with and have been helped by adults themselves. One man by the name of Silvio suffered from a grade A spinal cord injury, which is the worst of spinal cord injuries, and the result of and this resulted in the motor the loss of his motor and sensory functions. Two years after his injury, he received his own stem cells from the tissue inside of his nose. Today Silvio can stand up and wave without help. Silvio is now able to walk over 30 feet with a walker and short braces by himself. This is only a small portion of the potential of adult stem cells. Nelson also interviewed a man by the name of Doug Rice. In 1998, Doug was told that he had two years to live due to chronic heart failure after multiple heart attacks. He went to Thailand for adult stem cell treatment, and since then he is more energetic and is able to enjoy life. There are multiple cases of people having adult stem cell treatments for their heart. The people who have received treatment are reported to live longer than expected and have a greater capacity for physical activity. Another patient is Joe Davis Jr. Joe was born with severe sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a blood disease that affects one out of 500 people. Doctors thought that Joe might not live to see his teens. When Joe was two years old in 2002, he received a transplant of stem cells from his, brother, his younger brother's umbilical cord. He no longer has sickle cell anemia. Stem cell research should be federally funded because there's more than one way to retrieve the cells. A lot of people are against the research because they're focused on the destruction of embryonic stem cells. They do not realize that adult stem cells can be taken from you or me. Adult stem cells can be manipulated into immature cells like embryonic stem cells. Thanks to the Nobel Prize winners John Guru and Sinya Yamanaka for their research on reprogramming adult stem cells to do the same thing as embryonic cells. With their research, the whole issue on the destruction of embryonic stem cells is no longer a problem. I hope this information is enough for those who oppose stem cell research and to allow the federal government to fund it.